The answer to that question is who gives it, okay? Right. Neither one of these guys can fight. It's 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 all a, a big gimmick, and you know, like I said in a press conference, there's there's a there's a market for that. If people are dumb enough to spend their money watching that, sh I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Good good luck to them. Uh, but I don't even, you know, the, the guys. Talking, all, I, I could care less with that guy. I get it. He's trying to make some money and doing his thing. And, th and there's people out there that want to spend the money on that. I'm not that guy. That's that's, a, that's an absolute insult to Kimbo Slice. Right. Okay. The, the, the not even the same. Not even in the same universe. Okay. Amanda Nunes will knock that kid out. I mean, to even think about that guy fighting, a, he's like, oh, I'm never going to fight a. Uh, you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't, because she'll put you, she'll put you in a coma. Okay. The, the guy is a, a, just some kid off the street, and 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 one of the big problems with him right now, he's lucky there's a. He's talking smack about real people, real people that that he could run into, you know, at a restaurant some night and things like that. This isn't a real guy. This is just some some kid on YouTube. So the Alaskan bullworm, also known as Dana White, is back at it again. This bald... Let me break it down for you. These guys can fight. It's a big gimmick. Coming from the guy who let CM Punk, a fake WWE wrestler, headline a UFC event. Oh my... A lot of talking, Dana, a lot of talking, but let's check the numbers. For that if people are dumb enough to spend their money watching that i mean i don't know what to tell you good good luck to them uh oh dana good luck to you because you f need it i hope you find those five hundred thousand extra pay-per-view buys somewhere maybe uh maybe this will all help you but i'm done talking about your old head ass
Uh, nope, not commentating that one. God damn, that's a good fight. That's probably a pay-per-view. That's why. That's a huge fight. And who did you say? Macy Barber versus who? Sorry, Harrington? I'm looking it up right now. I believe it's Alexa Grasso. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, listen, Gilbert Burns, good luck, my friend. That's a huge fight. Uh, Kamara Usman versus Gilbert Burns. Let's just talk about that really quick and we'll move on. Um, I mean, if it goes to the floor, Gilbert has a massive, massive advantage. So I don't know if Usman's going to use his wrestling for this. I mean, the interesting thing is that both of these people, they know each other very well. They were long-time training partners. So, you know, uh, uh, Usman will know the tricks that Gilbert has on the ground. Also, Gilbert will know the types of takedowns that Usman likes to use in the gym. Right, or in the fights. So when when you know each other very, very well, uh, it, it changes things. That's why when I used to spar with this guy, Moses Morietta, when I was uh, training, he was one of my main training partners, we sparred together all the time. And we therefore, we knew each other so well. You know what I mean? So so we almost knew what was going to happen. So that, 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 that's an interesting dynamic between those two. Tremendous fight. I won't make a prediction this early, but... But uh, yeah, well done to Gilbert Burns for getting that. And uh, shout out Kamara Usman as well. Exactly how I drew it up, you know, finally get a, an actual fight, you know, four, four and a half months later after getting a ton of criticism as if I didn't, as if I didn't want to be in that UFC octagon. But, uh, you know, here we are. It's been a process. Uh, Dan Hooker was the guy that said yes. And uh, I think he's a great dance partner to be able to introduce myself to the UFC fans, get inside that octagon, make my first statement inside the UFC. But the Tony Ferguson situation was definitely mismanaged. I mean, we had the opportunity for him and I to step in the cage inside in, in, in January inside the octagon on this card. Tony says no. Then he takes a relatively short notice fight against Oliveira after calling me out. And I say, no, I'm not. I needed I needed a, three weeks, four weeks off between, you know, the, after this nine month long training camp that I did. So. My opinion of him hasn't changed. It's just unfortunate. It's, or it's unfortunate that I didn't, that I'm not fighting Tony Ferguson right now. But, you know, I went through that for a day or so. And it was four di other different names, you know, Hooker being one of them. The emotion roller coaster has been up and down. Having to deal with this has definitely uh, not been the easiest thing in my career, but it's, uh, it's the fight game. It's the fight game during, and it's also, you know, one of the biggest free agent signings coming in to the UFC in a long time.